Hello everyone, Ledger Reminder at you once again and today we're going to be talking about the new meta deck, the giant electro dragon deck. Ever since this card came out, everybody, most people do, I started using it with this deck. I've not seen any other deck apart from the balloon deck. Yeah, there's a balloon deck I saw recently that has this um, electro dragon. Yeah, I, I didn't copy it because I actually don't like it. So, I, I have not used this deck recently because... I have no master skills of this deck. The deck is really crazy. If you can't use it, you're just gonna lose to it. Like you're just gonna lose continuously, like back to back. So I didn't really use this deck, but I collected some amazing battles on pros using this deck. So guys, I'm gonna show you all the battles I collected on this deck versus big decks versus golden metal decks, golden beatdown decks, and crazy other amazing things. So let's go straight to the battles. Let me show you guys how these deck works against a royal giant or uh, recent funnest royal giant deck that's trending now with the uh barbarian um i don't know barra yeah that's right and the lightning yeah it's gonna be the giant electric dragon deck against that deck well this is gonna be really epic i want i would love to skip some path but but every single path is really fun but i'm just gonna speed it up like twice i don't want to take it to four times no i'm gonna do it twice this deck is crazy this new giant electric dragon deck is really crazy it's got huge can it's got huge offense but things i don't really see the use of the electric dragon there because you already have the zap there and the electric dragon is a five elixir card so i don't know i don't know because if i'm going to use this deck i'm just going to remove the electric dragon and put some like nobody goblin gang because i don't i don't really like the electric dragon fine it does damage is fine i like it has a chain or chain attack or something i don't know what it's called but it's not it's not that cool it's not that cool it's a five elixir card it's hit speed is really slow it's health or hit points is really not low but it's low compared to other cards like the tower is going to take it down so easily fiber is going to take it down so easily lightning is going to take it down so easily rock is going to take it down so easily so i think that this card is not too good it's not it's good it's good though but it's good well for the fact that it's a epic card i don't expect it to be so so mad because only legendary cards can experience stuff like that and it's it's pretty balanced but it's not balanced in a good way it's balanced in a slightly negative way if you ask me because there are some real things there's some really annoying things a card can do like for example now it can activate the tall like in a wrong place or something it can just easily activate the king tour and that's not favorable nobody likes that nobody likes the activation of king tour most of them have cards that get too close to the princess tour and the king tour just start attacking it so that's what i have to say yeah that's right and now you guys can see what this deck is doing it's dominating the royal giant deck and it's really really cool it's kind of a recycled deck this guy drops giants like every 10 seconds it's really really awesome it's really funny if you ask me <laughs> Guys, I find this really funny and awesome, man. I love this deck. I just love the fact how it does it, how it recycles this giant. Even with the fact that it's up next as lightning, the lightning doesn't stop him from dropping the night witch and the lumberjack behind the behind the giant. It just favors him because he recycles everything. And now I think this is where he's gonna win this match. This is just how the match is gonna end. Yep, this is how the match ends. And it's a really amazing match. Do you guys see how he just recycled this deck? It's a crazy recycled deck and he won against a uh, very giant deck. Really amazing. Let's go to the next match. It's gonna be the um what's the name again? Oh crap. Yeah, the electric dragon giant deck against this huge um giant hunter prince ghost or uh, royal ghost crazy recycled deck it's really scary mostly when you get too close to the one thing about this hunter and i really like the card i really like the idea of this hunter card because most people find it useless but i find this card really amazing now see the electric dragon in action it's really crazy i like how it does that stuff i like how it does that stuff but it's just too slow if you ask me but it does it really well it works out really great it takes out those three cards at once and look this opponent can come with a huge counter attack but I don't know what he decides to do. I don't know what he decides to do. But the prince is going to take out the Night Witch and the Lumberjack, if you ask me. He is going to take out the Lumberjack. But as for the... Um, what's the name again? As for the... Well, this is a huge damage. This is huge damage. The Electro Wizard just... Look at it, look at it. It's going to activate it all. Yeah, that's just one thing I hate about this card. It's like the cost. It's at the all so easily. Like I was saying, this was just a huge counter attack. This lumberjack is really, really crazy. I hate the lumberjack. I literally don't allow it to come close to my toe because 
it's really really dangerous i hate when it let me jack does that i really hate when it does that it's really really annoying for example you just decide to leave it or probably your phone just lagged a little bit and boom your phone hanged or something lumberjack is just gonna take down your tool like like it's nothing like it's just 550 hp it's really really crazy it's really really annoying well, I also like it. I use it sometimes, but not in all decks. The Lumberjack doesn't fit in all decks. That's when you have in a deck like um, a recycle deck. I've never seen someone use Lumberjack in a recycle deck, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to fit. Or maybe it's going to fit. I'm going to try one day. So, guys, are you enjoying this match? Because once I was already down, even before the double elixir, in the previous match, it took like to the end of the match for the, the Electro Dragon user could do some really, really damage. Well, in less than maybe one minute, I don't know, I didn't count it. But in less than one minute, the guy already took down the tour, and that's really amazing. Well, as you can see, the Electric Dragon is really taking down the Giant and the Prince with the Shain attack, or I don't know what to call it, or something like that. Well, I think this match is gonna end 1 0 because no one's gonna agree for anybody. No one's gonna allow. No one's gonna allow to lose one tour. But it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be epic. Let's just speed this up, and the match ends, ends on time. Okay, this is a huge counter attack. This guy can take down the tour. But maybe the electric dragon is just gonna do some really really annoying things. Well, really close to taking any tour. That was really close. I think this was what. Uh, well, look at the king tour. Just look, take a look at the king tour. Take a look at the king tour. Man, I didn't expect that. That was nine. That's nine twelve. Nine twelve, and that's really crazy, man. I even thought. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so speechless. Okay, let's go to the third match. I think it should be the last match, or maybe I'm just gonna speed up one. Of the balloon that I, the balloon electric dragon deck that I spotted. So let's just go to the next match. Odd match. This is a spell bait. Yeah, it's the fireball bait deck. This is gonna be really, really crazy. Like, it's gonna bait your fireball. It's got the royal hug. It's got the, um, I don't know. It's got the royal hug in this really crazy deck. It's the fireball bait deck. The most annoying deck I've ever experienced. Like, this royal hugs really pisses me off. And I hate it when this, um, I don't know, magic actually does this. It just takes down the two off from a long range. It has a really cool range. It has a really epic range. I like that. I just like the fact that, uh, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Um, uh, yes, the magic actually does that. I like the fact, but it's really, really annoying. And our fireball goes down. Boom. Well, this deck doesn't have the three musketeer. It doesn't have the three musketeer, so... Um, the opponent is at lock. Uh, who's the opponent? I don't know. Well, he's at lock. Cause the yeah, the electric dragon user is is at huge lock, cause he just has the fireball and the zap in his deck. It doesn't have log. It doesn't have any other spell. It doesn't have lightning or poison. It just have the fireball. So if his opponent baits the fireball and he uses it against the warrior arc, it's gonna be really dangerous. Except he's got a recycle deck or he has something crazy in mind whatever i do not know i'm just enjoying this match he's probably gonna use his um electric dragon or the mega minion okay he's an electric dragon he could not fireball again because it's already too late well the electric dragon is really doing damage on the three hugs well that works out fine but look at how it dies look at the low hp it's like i don't know if it has low hp or not but it dies on time that is something that's really not good okay i think the magic caster is gonna, just gonna take out the electric dragon from long range yeah yeah it does that and Look at it, just two shots, two shots. Okay, not three shots. Yeah. But just look at it, it dies in time and it's really not favorable. Okay, it's gonna be a huge counter attack only if it plays it well. Okay, it's side two. It should probably drop poison. Well, I don't know. Okay, now, it's probably gonna use the answer or the ghost. Well, the answer works fine. Look at it, look at it, Lumberjack. It still got one shot. That's really, really annoying. Really, really annoying and epic. Really, really annoying and epic. Okay, this magic cash is gonna do something from that side. Well, this is really bad. This is really bad. I think this is where the game ends. This is probably where the game ends. Oh no, nobody knows, nobody can ever tell. Well, this might be epic. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. And now the tour is going down. The tour is going down, and the tour is down. Yeah, this is probably where the game ends. Well, the Royal Hog user was already getting on this. Like it was really close to winning, but just one mistake. One mistake took him down. Just one mistake took him down. That was really painful. That's just one thing that hit in Clash Royale. Making a mistake in a live match. Making a mistake against a pro. Really dangerous. Okay, now let's go to the final match. It's gonna be the balloon match. I'm just gonna speed this up. I just want you to just take a glimpse of it. And let's go straight to the fourth match.
It's an X bow with Psycho deck, a really crazy deck versus the Prince Electro Wizard deck. I think it's a minor deck also. It has minor on poison in it. So the Electro Wizard is gonna be sorry, the Electro Dragon is probably gonna be for defense or something. I don't know. Well, this man is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be really really epic because we're gonna be seeing more of the electro the more of the electric dragon and more of the X bow. You know, the X bow kind of resets due to the electric dragon lightning, so this is really gonna be epic, this is really gonna be nuts, it's gonna be mad. Well, let's watch this match. So I'm gonna speed this up. I've already showed you guys three videos earlier on. So this one is just a bonus video. So no offense, I'm speeding this up in case you really want to watch this match. Well, you can just focus and you get every single glimpse of the action. Okay, now the I think this is now nah, it's not balanced. Oh the fire. Fire spirits are really dangerous, mostly when you leave them at tutorial. Okay, I think this guy's gonna go with defense right now. Cause he already knows what's coming at him, so he's going with defense. But I'm pre I'm not pretty sure it's gonna work for him. Or probably he probably wants to recycle the eggs recycle the eggs bow, so he's gonna drop it again and have two eggs bow in the arena. Oh that's what for anybody. Okay, yeah, that's what he did. So now he's got one eggs before defense and okay. The first eggs bow is dead already and the second eggs bow is already down. I think the electric dragon really deals damage on this eggs bow. I know this guy is pushing with his miner and that's really crazy. He does his miner, he recycles his miner really fast. And now this electric dragon is doing real damage on the eggs bow. The eggs bow can't do anything. It's like it's it's like it's stunned, it's like it just Past the movement, and that's really, really dangerous. That's really, really, really annoying. And now the the um, expo deck that I chose was really, really, really going to be annoying. It's now the deck facing the real terror, facing the real drama here. So this is really epic. Now uh, he has to drop it again. I think he's already recycled his expo, so probably going to drop the Tesla and the expo one more time. And it's going to be crazy. This might be the end of this match. Well, nobody knows because he already dropped the electric dragon one more time and you already fired by the electric dragon that's <laughs> damage towards the tour he's gonna drop another expo right now and he's probably gonna drop the ice golem in front of him okay he already dropped the eating tester he's probably gonna see drop the ice golem too and yeah it's really crazy he's gonna take the electric dragon down on time with no problem the eggs is already down well he recycled it now you see this is really really mad this is really really quick he recycles his wait 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 oh shit that was a huge mistake um the one with the miner made a huge mistake well I know who's winning right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. The one with the LX X Bulls winning. It came with a dramatic counter, and that's really, really awesome. That's really, really awesome. But who's gonna win the final match? Who's gonna win this final match? Well, it's probably gonna drop the X Bull again. Uh, I don't think he can do that. I think it's gonna be the end of this match. This is the end of the match. Poison the top, and probably gonna throw the Ice Spirit or something. The match. That was a really, really crazy match. Really, really epic. And 1 0. Uh, that was really, really crazy. Well, I think you guys love this match. You guys love the way this deck is training. Now the Electric Dragon in every single deck has won every single match that I've watched so far. This is just few of the matches I've shown you guys. And they have won all the matches. I don't know, this Electric Dragon is really really epic but I don't really like the card if you ask me. I think it should get a, a little buff, a just a little buff like reduce the hit speed or just reduce the elixir but reducing the elixir is somehow huge, reducing to 4 is going to be really huge so if they can just reduce the hit speed or increase the lightning it should just be the hit speed I think that's the perfect way to buff this card just reducing the hit speed it should be like maybe 2 seconds or 1.8 or 1.5 seconds ok guys thanks for watching this video and I'm pretty sure you like it you enjoyed it so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be dropping more videos on the electric dragon so I'll see you next time and thank you guys once again